guys, welcome to the channel. If you're new and if you like want to subscribe, just click on that subscribe button and you can support the channel. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. Right, today's video slightly different. As you may recall, ooh, try to keep still here. As you may recall, I had a power caddy electric trolley. Well, I managed to kill it. Reason being, it wanted to go in a bunker and I pulled back on it instead of turning it off and I killed it. So, as I very rarely treat myself to anything new, I, uh, I thought I'd go and buy a brand new one. I know, it hurt, very much it hurt. So, I went out and I bought a motor caddy S1 and I'll show you this bit of it now. Right, so that's the one I bought, the S1. And the one I bought, I think, is the 2000... A bit cock out there, aren't they? There we go. It's a 2019 model. Um, which, there is two versions of it. There's the version I've got, or there's a downhill one, where it stops if you're going downhill and automatic brake and all them gazummins. So, and I think the difference on the new version is it's got a USB port. Whatever you want that for, I don't know. But yeah, anyway. So there may be plenty of these on the market now. Uh, people look to get rid of them. Or if it's four, three, three years down the line and you buy one on eBay and you wait a review of it, it's ideal. So, as you may also know, I've got a power caddy bag. And you're thinking, ooh, it's not going to fit on. The good news is, the power caddy bag fits on the motor caddy trolley quite easily. It just drops straight in the slots at the bottom, which is really good. Um, the speeds on this are 1 to 9. I'm using 4 most of the time, which is about right. You could probably do with being about 3.5, um, which would be ideal. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to play... What hole are we on here? I'm playing the fifth down here at Avro, which is uphill. So we're going to give it a test going up the hill to see how it performs. Now before I had a obviously a power uh, power caddy, and it sort of it struggled. You have to put it on full whack to get it going up the hill properly. But that could be down to age, plus the battery weighed a ton, which should help. Obviously, it's got a lightweight battery on this one. So I'm going to tee off. I'm just practicing on the whites for competitions. Um, so I'm going to tee off. So this tee shot could go anywhere. And then we'll go up the hill and we'll see what we can do. Dave, four to four golf, look behind me. Your friend wants to say hello. There you go, Dave, four to four golf. Says I know you like the cows. Another shout out to the Bogey Smalls on uh, the prize that I won. But obviously, a bit expensive to send it from over the pond to here. So, thanks, uh, Jess, for that. Right, let's give this a test of going up the hill and we'll see what we're like. Right guys, so I've got it set on four, which I'll try and show you. And I better show you the I better show you the hill as well, aren't we going up? There we go. Green is up there somewhere. 
Right, so we go up the hill, we press the button. And the other thing that I'm uh, trying to get used to on this as well is the, uh, it's got a button that you press that it starts and stops with. Where on the power caddy, it's like um, a switch or a, a rotating thing. So I'm not touching this. And as you can see, on four, it's going up the hill quite easily, which I'll show you. Which is quite good. Um, so yeah, good little investment. Not that my wallet, for, my wallet to fall though. Right, let's look where the ball went on this par three. Oh, it's a bit of a hill this one. So we teed off back down there. Out of breath. And the shot landed. Yeah. So I'll leave this running and see if we can get a birdie. Hi guys, this is for birdie. We'll probably miss it with the cameras on. Get in. Hi right, guys. So that's just a review of the Motor Caddy S1. Mine's just the basic one. Value for money, yes. Does it do what it says? Yes. And obviously the lighter battery, modern days, is, is a lot better than the old Power Caddy one I used to have. Uh, another thing on this, you can charge it, leaving it on the trolley if, obviously inside, where the clubs and stuff. So, as a quick review of the S1 Motor Caddy, hope you enjoyed it, hope it's helpful. Um, but the only downside, I'll give you one downside, is I can't get used to the button, um, but that'll come. And occasionally you press the button and you think you've done it and you haven't. So, but that's a totally different machine to what I was using before. You can get other versions of it, and also obviously the power caddy versions. Um, but this one, the S1, um, at the moment I believe there's a bit of a sale on it because people are trying to get rid of it because the uh, the new version's out for 2020. So yeah, go out guys if you're looking for a nice trolley, you want to spend your money. I'd recommend the power caddy because you try, if you've got the bag like mine it does fit on um, I don't know how you get on with this stand bag um, but you know I'm sure you could put some tape round or some, some tighten up the uh, the stand I'm sure you could do something with it but yeah great trolley worth it thanks for watching not the best video in the world but it's just a review of a trolley. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Laters.